In this video, I'll show you how to build out automations to create viral video clips for YouTube Shorts, TikTok, and Reels from your long form video content like a podcast. And I'm building this automation with the No Code Architects Toolkit. It's a free make module that you can get access to that lets you build automations and process video in a cost effective way without all of the expensive monthly API subscriptions. In this video, I'm giving you a preview of how the system works. So let's get into it. So what I've got here is an Airtable database. I'm calling this project Content Clip Magic. It takes long form video and turns it into vertical clips. We've got two tabs across the top here. One is for your long form video. So here I'm looking at all the videos in the system and I have my interview here with the School Stories podcast and I simply provide a link to that long form video. I describe the video width and height and then the width and height of the desired clips. And then I've got these views down here that will trigger automations. The first thing that we need to do is to generate a transcript. And as you can see here, we already have the transcript of the entire video right here. And then we also have the SRT file, which is a caption file which helps break down the timestamps of given sentences. And so when you first add a video and then add a video URL to this column here, it will trigger this generate transcripts automation, which is right here. It simply loads up that row from Airtable and then it starts the transcription process and then also the process to create the SRT file. So we use the transcript and Claude to determine which clips to pull from. So if I jump over to the clips section here, you can see here we have five different clips that we've generated. And for each clip, we can come in here and we can see the short transcript for that given clip. I'll start this process over from scratch in just a moment, but I just wanna show you how it works. And so then what we do is we use this shorter transcript and this full SRT file to generate a shorter SRT file with just the clip in question. And so that gives us the starting time in the video, and that also gives us the ending time in the video. So we can pull the start time and then the end time, and then we can get the total duration. And then using that, we can pull the specific clip. So if I click on this, it's gonna download. And so you can see we have a single clip from the video and it's about 41 seconds long. And then we also generate a keyframe, which is just a image. And we use this image to pass to ChatGPT to help us figure out exactly where the face is in the given clip. That gives us an X and Y coordinate at this specific spot right here, which allows us to figure out exactly where where we want to make the clip. And then we take that full size clip and the X and Y coordinates, and then we're able to clip that down and then add the captions. To produce the final clip that is positioned correctly with the captions and of course the audio. If you make a video that like gives everything away, and it's like the only one on YouTube that can do that, like. All right, so now let's show you how that entire process works. I'm gonna go ahead and delete all of these clips. Then I'm gonna head back to the video tab. I'm gonna leave the transcript and SRT file here and start from this spot. Generating these can take a few minutes on a long video and there's nothing here that's particularly groundbreaking. All that's happening here is that once we add this video URL, this automation here triggers. It uses the NCA toolkit, again, a free make module that you can use in conjunction with this free project that allows you to spin up your own free API server that lets you process video, transcriptions, cut video, combine videos and add captions. Once we've created that transcript and the SRT file, the automation can move to the next step where it actually generates the scripts for each clip. So once these are here, it will generate the next automation, which is here. What's happening here is we're simply pulling in this particular video row here. We grab the details of that record and then we use Claude to break up that larger transcript into a bunch of different clips. You can see here we have clip number one, we have clip number two, and then we use ChatGPT to clean up that script and to put it into a JSON file that just makes it easier to iterate over. And then we take that transcript and we find the associated SRT section from the main SRT file here. And then finally we create all those clips in Airtable. So let's go ahead and run this process and just watch it run. Here we're grabbing that row from Airtable. Now Claude is creating all of the different clips. We can take a look inside the output here and Again, we're gonna see all of the different clips that it was able to create. Of course, you can adjust the prompt to create the clips the way you want. Then we can look inside here in ChatGPT and we can see that it has nicely formatted all of the clips into a JSON, which makes it easy to process in an automation. Then we simply iterate over each of those different clips. And then in this automation here, we are generating the SRT section for that clip. If we open this up here, we can take a look inside. And here we have the specific SRT for that specific clip. So we have the start and also the end time. And then it simply creates all of the different rows 
in our Airtable database. So if I come back to Airtable, we're gonna see now here we have the five different clips. We have the short transcript of just a specific clip. And then we have the SRT file, which gives us that start and then also that end time, as well as the lines in that transcript. Then we have the start time, the end time, and then also the duration. So now that we have these, we can go ahead and create the clip from the long form video. This is gonna still be a horizontal video. We can't yet turn it into a vertical video because we don't necessarily know the exact position that the speaker is in that given clip. So we still need to triangulate and get that X and Y axis. That's gonna give us the information that we need to create a clip with the subject at the center. So we're gonna create that clip and then we're going to create that image. So any row that still needs a clip and an image is going to be triggered by this view here. And it will run this simple automation again using the No Code Architects Toolkit, which is going to make the clip using these details here. And then it's also going to grab an image from that video as well. So let's go ahead and run this process. It's going to run through all five clips in the single automation. You can see here it has created the clip. So if I come into this operation, we can look at the response, open this up. And you can see here we have a URL from DigitalOcean, which is an MP4 file. And we're also generating the keyframe images. So if I come in here to an operation, check out the response, we can see that we have an image as well. And now it has gone through all five clips. So if I come back to Airtable, we now have the clips and the images for each of our individual clips. So if I were to click into the image, we can see that the system now has a way to triangulate the face. And we also have the clip itself. Can open this up and there it is. So now the final piece is just just analyzing this image and then using that to pull out the proper clip from the long form video that is still in the horizontal shape. So that's done here in this automation. These first two Airtable modules simply just get the information from the database and all of the details. And it's in this automation here that we actually analyze the image. So if I open this up, you can see here we're saying analyze the image in great detail and get the height and width of the image. I did find that ChatGPT Vision, Vision is the open API function that allows us to analyze images. I noticed that it changed the image height and width, so I needed to figure that out so that I could correct things later. And then I said, analyze the image in great detail and provide the X and Y coordinates of the center of the face. And then I simply pass in the image URL, which is coming from the Airtable database right here. And then in this next module here, I'm simply cleaning up the output and putting it into a JSON to make it easier to use in the automations. I pass in the result from this module here, and I say extract the image dimensions and the X and Y coordinates from the text above. If you'll notice here, it provides the result as text, which is just not that easy to actually process. So coming out of this module here, we have a JSON variable with the image height and width and the X and Y coordinates of the face. And then I update the Airtable database with that information. And the reason why I do that, I'll jump back to Airtable. I have a lot of hidden fields here that aren't exposed that do several different calculations. I'll go ahead and open some of these up. We have some errors here because we haven't actually run the automation, but if we jump into the fields here, we're gonna see I'm doing several different calculations to make sure that we are properly using the right aspect ratio to detect exactly how to cut that video and then actually scale it back up to the proper size for the clips. And again, if you're interested in this video, I do plan to do a full YouTube video where I break everything down. And if you're enjoying this video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. It tells me what type of content you want more of. So then coming out of this module here, if we were to take a look at the output, we can see that we have all of the information that we need, several different important values that help us do all of the calculations. And then it's in this next module here, where I actually build the final clip. So this make module here is actually cropping out the vertical video from the long form video. And you can see here that we're passing in all those important variables so it knows how to crop it and then scale it back up to the proper size. Then once we have that clip, we can go ahead and transcribe that single clip and then we can go ahead and caption it. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this automation now and generate the five clips. Again, it's getting the data from Airtable and now it's analyzing the image. Then I clean up that output just to make it easy to get the values. We update Airtable so that it can calculate those values. Remember, we needed to make some calculations. Notice that these calculations are starting to come through now. They are no longer an error. These are the values that we use to crop the image and scale it properly. Now it's actually cropping out the first clip. And again, we're using the No-Code Architects Toolkit which is a free make module that you can use along with the No Code Architects API, which is also free and allows you to process video, crop it. You can really do anything that you want 
to your video all at a very low cost because you're running it on your own server. I'm running this one on DigitalOcean, which only costs a few dollars a month. We transcribed that video and we captioned that video and now we just uploaded that to Airtable. So if I were to come back to Airtable, we would see we have our first clip here. Now it's generating the values that we need for the next video. And here's that video, we can play it here. And it's kind of counterintuitive because I sell a product that tries to make the content super easy and like all automated, right? And now we can see that it has already produced the second video. Now it's moving on to this video here. If we're to jump back to the automation. We see that it's continuing to move forward. Now it's working through this clip here and it's just gonna continue on until we have all five clips. And finally, we have that fifth clip. All five are now done. Now, if you'd like me to build out something like this from scratch here on YouTube, make sure to let me know in the comments. I'd appreciate that very much. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one.